But Owen and Stuart, we're here at the Richard Hannon Yard this morning. You've watched your Philly Elysium dream work this morning. How was that? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, it's my second time down here to the yard. Uh, obviously, very hospitable people down here, which is obviously very good fun as well. Um, and we've been out on the gallops this morning watching our horse, uh, which we're obviously very proud of. She won last week at Newmarket and has won twice now in about eight runs. So I think we're very lucky with the horse that we have, but I think ultimately it's been great fun as well. And what's the journey been like for you guys as owners? Uh, as owners, it's been pretty smooth. Um, it happened quite a while ago now. I, I suppose the peak of it was uh, running the Chesham the first day at Ascot, which is obviously a big day for everybody involved. And to have a runner at Ascot regardless, I think is pretty awesome. Um, and she ran well, she ran a really good fifth um, and obviously everybody had a really nice day out so we're obviously very proud of her um, and hopefully she has a couple more good runs and we can go elsewhere as well. And actually that was my highlight, that was my 31st birthday as well at, at Ascot so the whole family met uh, at the pub for a bite to eat and then we got a, a coach down to Ascot and I think that for me uh, obviously I, I've always loved horses been sort of in the family a little bit but actually the experiences of being able to go to Ascot with the family on a, on a day like that and see her run as well as she did you know um, she was in the race all the way till the sort of final furlong really so it was um, I think that was probably the highlight obviously we've had two brilliant wins but the, the highlight was the experience of Ascot I think for me. And as busy sportsman, you obviously had to miss her last run, unfortunately. But what was that buzz like when you found out that she'd won? Oh, I mean, it was yeah, it was it was incredible. I, I, it's, it's very hard to put um, put it into words. Actually, it's a very similar buzz to what you get actually playing sport, um, and the excitement you get when with sort of friends around watching the race. I mean, the next race I'm going to be at 35,000 feet, so hopefully with modern technology there'll be a bit of Wi-Fi and, and I can keep in some, some sort of touch. But um, yeah, I mean, watching the races, I get incredibly nervous for about 15 minutes before. Um, and then once it's done, like the elation of just seeing her run nicely is, is what it's all about, really. You were very happy like, a few Saturdays ago, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was actually in the middle of a wedding at the time, and I was sort of snuck out the back to you watch You watched it in the toilets, didn't I you? I did. I watched it in the toilets in a chateau in France, and I've, honestly, the biggest scream you've ever heard, which uh, obviously alerted the bride and groom, and they were just happy everything was all right. So they didn't realise I was celebrating. But um, it's an amazing feeling, like Shira mentioned, you know, you get very special feelings across the board and regardless of what sport you're involved but for me it's probably a little bit different you know you don't have a great control dealer control about the outcome of anything or input in anything but to be a part of something like this is a completely different feeling a very special one and do you think this experience might lead you to down the path for another one and another possible filly maybe yeah. i mean so i've i've loved the experience you know i mean it um actually days like this make it completely worthwhile coming around looking around and um, seeing how I mean how professional it is here but how hospitable it is and and seeing how good a hands at least some dreams in and um, look it's it's been an incredible eight months I suppose it's been if, if not a bit longer um, and something that's got me completely hooked and so interested and fascinated I'm, I'm sure that uh, if Morgs gave us a nod that we'd go down that route again